Good afternoon, everybody. We party from across the shock and back at you with another wee video. This is uh, you've yeah, seen by the title. It's one that's going around. I just thought I would I would throw it in because you know th this is a really you know your most used knives. This would change probably monthly for me because you know as I get new knives, I tend to bring them in and carry them a lot. And if I like them this day, if they don't, they'll move on. Something else will move in. So it's never very static. But. I'm going to have a go. I'm going to show you the five knives that I use the most. And might be a few surprises for you. Probably not. But the other thing I'm going to tell you is Congi's Knife Sales. And I'll put that link. I'll put the name down below in the description. Go over to, uh, you, not YouTube. What's it called? Um, Facebook. Facebook. Um, go over to Facebook and... Uh, Check him out, Congi's Knife Sales. He's got another waffle going on at the moment. I think it's only about £1.75 to enter it, and there's a chance of winning a whole stack of knives. Go over there. He does them every week. I keep telling you, but just get over there. I've won twice in the last month. Well, not last month, but twice in the last six weeks or so. So get over, give him a subscribe on his, uh, his Facebook channel, and... Uh, You'll get to know when he's doing raffles. He does usually about one a week. Anyway, there we go. Next thing, my most used knives. First one. There we go. It's a slip joint. A lot of these are going to be slip joints. But because that's the truth, that's what I use more often. But they're not all slip joints. This is one I use an awful lot. I'm going to let you listen to this. That is one of the nicest actions on any knife that I have. And this is a number 15 pattern. It's a boy's pattern. The lighting in here is not great. You need to be outside. It's snake wood. It's beautiful. But this was the one that was a, not a beer scout, but it had the blade with the uh, bottle opener and the screwdriver on it. And before I got it, I got this from one of my chums on a slip joint group. Um, it was deleted. And brought down now these are not gaps it's just the spine of the knife when it was put back together again although it's perfect action it's a GEC number 15 it's perfect action but you can see there's little tiny ridges it's not gaps but it just doesn't affect the knife and this knife had been the scale there's a little bit of a a, a crack at the top of the knife here I don't even know whether you'd see it no, it's really hard. It's a very, very fat. Oh, you can't just see it. A little crack at the pin. It's been stabilized, but it just works. I love this knife. This is a knife I throw in my jammy bottoms, my tracksuit bottoms, and run about the caravan. It's just a beautiful knife. Light pull, it's only about four or five, four and a half, say. But it's just the most beautiful. And the little sheep. I use this for everything about the house or the caravan. When I'm using it. So there's number one. Number two. Is if I need a locking knife. I find myself going to this. More and more. I absolutely love it. Um, I was never a Para 2 lover as you know. But this Para 3. In the G10. I don't like the, the plastic handle one. But in this G10. Is so comfortable. I could work all day. I get no hot spots on it whatsoever. I put a deep carry clip on it. And this is a cheap. This cost me about £2 on AliExpress. <laughs> it, it's not the firmest retention. But it's absolutely fine. I haven't lost it yet. And it's been on there probably near a year now. But it's just a beautiful knife. Takes a screaming edge. It's M390. And it's been well heat treated because it lasts for donkeys. Um, lovely action on this. It's as loose as you like. Really, really lovely. Now, when I say loose, there's not a movement on that. I just mean that this is very, very... I've used it that much. I've fiddled with it that much. The action's on. It's just beautiful. Uh, and I love just sitting foot room with it. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I highly recommend the G10 if you haven't tried the G10. So that's the Para 3. That's number two. Number three is a newish acquisition, which I'm sure you've all seen. This is my custom made knife. I got this made for me by Ashley Harrison. 
this is just an absolute this is a world i just absolutely love this knife the fit finish it was made for me to to what i asked for to be made the easy opening the big fat um sheep's foot it's just gorgeous i just love it. it's a full four fingers this is my work knife you know if i'm not using that i'm using this and that's the truth uh and this is my my work knife. I haven't used it on food prep or things like that. So I haven't got any patina on the blade. I have another Ashley Harrison knife that I use quite a lot uh, for wet stuff, if you like. But I'll show you another knife I'm going to use in a minute. This is just a stunning knife. I love this. This is how you tell if a knife's been used. <laughs> the, the bolsters are all scratched up. Yes, there's no patina. But because I wipe it down most of the time, there's, not, there's no chance. It's such a lovely pull on it. It's about a seven. Really, really, oh, just beautifully made knife. I love this knife as a work knife. So that's now at number three. These are not really in order. You know, I would probably use them for the first one and the third one more than I use this. Because this one especially... And the one that's going to follow can do any job I need to do. I know there's slip joints and that's a bit controversial. But this is my beater, my worker. This is the 71, the GEC 71 Bullnose. This is just a big fat knife. Uh, 1095, hard as nails. Just an absolute brilliant knife. I use this for anything and everything. And as I say... These are probably the two hardest working knives if you're going to go with my slip joint to my uh, Para 3. That is just a stunning knife. If you have a chance of getting one of these, the, the cheaper sort of version of a GEC knives, it's just a game changer. Really is. Again, about a six, six and a half pull on that. Maybe, you know, six and a half, I would say on that. It's not an over strong one. But a gorgeous, gorgeous work knife. Fit and finish. This is the Farm and Field, the cheaper version of GEC. Uh, love that knife. Love that knife. And now this is where it's going to maybe shock you a little bit. The knife I use the most at the minute. Is, <laughs> and it's the truth. I was going to tell a lie, but it's the truth. This little spider coat man bug, because I'm not a lady. I'm a man. This man bug gets used. It sits to the left-hand side of my desk here, and it gets used for opening packages. It's in ZDP 189. I've only ever had to strop this. It just cuts for days. But it opens my packages. It opens, you know, it does. It's funny, I was doing a bit of leather work today, and I was using this to, to cut the leather. I put a little fob on one of my knives. I use this just sitting around for doing anything that's detailed. If I want to cut things out of anything, just, I know it's silly, but it really is a super, super little light. And this box lanyard, when I got that, it made such a difference because when I grip here, it's like having a four-fingered knife. Like I can get three fingers on the, the knife itself, but having that as like a fourth, it's just perfect. So there you go. That's probably my most used. And I think maybe a bit of a surprise to most people. Um, but it's the truth. It sits by my desk. So it gets used every single day. <laughs> All right, folks. There you go. Get over and check out Congi's waffle he's got going on at the minute. Uh, good prizes. Cheap to enter into. And he keeps doing them every week for us. And I've benefited. And I will go into most of them. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Paddy's away. Bye now.